Hi, it's Michelle, and I made it to the Vortex uh, area here at Bell Rock, and I wanted to say how pleased I am because it's really hot out here. They're doing a lot of hot rescues right now, and that, of course, means that uh, I, I don't need to be out here very long. <laughs> I don't want to be one of them, <laughs> but uh, right back here, you'll see some of the cairns that people place the rocks on top of each other, just uh, denoting a landmark that uh, is made sometimes so that people can follow behind and find and locate areas such as this and such is life you know um, we leave markers we leave trails and we leave um, remnants of ourselves and what we've learned uh, as we go through this life and we hope that others can follow behind and um, find their way a little easier just because of our trailblazing. So uh, that is what my message is that's coming through here at uh, the Vortex Rock at, at Bell Rock, the Vortex at Bell Rock in Sedona, Arizona. And uh, I'm gonna pan around here just so you can see the magnificence of it. I mean, I'm literally in the middle of, it, it, it reminds me of the scene in the Bible where Christ is tempted by the devil and uh, he says, you know, Christ says, of course, that there's nothing you can offer me that I don't already have. And that's exactly how I feel. I feel like there is nothing anyone could offer me that I don't already have inside of me. And um, as far as the temptation, you know, Christ also said, um, he said that you, they know not what they do. When uh, he was being crucified, he was speaking of his accusers and he said that they do not know what they do. And right now at this time in history, there's so many people who do not understand clearly understand their actions and how they're affecting other people. And I say this because everyone operates from their own level of consciousness. And I am very aware that you, you, cannot, you cannot operate from anywhere other than you, where you are. And where I am is always home because wherever you are, wherever your soul is, as long as you're present in that moment, that is where you are home and it feels very comfortable here in Sedona for sure I have to say it's one of the places I feel uh, very instantly home but just remember you carry home with you you are home wherever you are so that is a message that's coming through very clearly here for me and I mentioned cactuses earlier that the cactus that grows in, mostly in the southern part of the state. Uh, actually, the sanguine, I believe I'm saying that right, cactus only grows in Sedona, and it grows mostly near the Phoenix, Tucson area. And I saw several of them, and I had to look them up because it seemed like a sign to me. And as I looked them up, I saw that the cactus has many, many roots, and they only grow about two to four inches deep and they can have up to about 25 arms. And as you know, the cactus's arms grow up. Well, everything grows up because we grow toward the sun. We grow toward the light. And that is where you have the ability to, to focus your attention on your growth. But the cactus ha does have several different roots, but it also has one main root. And that one main root is the one that goes two feet deep. So it reminded me when I got here to really ground myself because you can only fly as high as you are grounded. You, you can fly only as high as you are grounded. So you can see more when you're higher, just like an eagle vision. You can see the big picture in your life and where you want to go, but it's important that you stay grounded too. So just like the cactus arms and many plants actually grow as far out uh, their branches will grow as far out as their roots are deep. And that is an integral lesson that's just built into the way the universe works. And so remember that. So happy, happy 